Hello student, today we are going to learn how to derive the formula on Newton's law of cooling T2 is equal to T1 plus E power minus KT C dash. This is the equation we are going to learn how to derive. So see here I have the water, hot water with the beaker. Okay, it's a very simple experiment. When the time is increased, the temperature is going to decrease. Time and temperature is inversely proportional. When, the, when some terms is inversely proportional means you can draw graph like this. In case directly proportional means you can draw straight line, linear graph. Okay. So here x axis is a time, y axis is a temperature. Okay. When it is uh, when the time is increasing, temperature is going to decrease, is inversely proportional. So I am going to draw a graph like this. Today we are going to learn how to derive this equation, particular equation. Okay. So here heat. So changing heat energy. So Q is a heat energy, changing heat energy with respect to the time is directly proportional to the change in time. So already I say temperature is inversely proportional to the time period. The same thing heat energy is going to be decreased when the uh, time is increased. Okay. So dQ by dt is directly proportional to change in temperature. When you are removing directly proportional, so you should include the constant. So I mean removed the directly proportional, I include the constant. K is the constant here. Equality constant, I am writing here small k. T2 minus T1 is equal to dq by dt same equation with uh, with minus k okay k minus k is indicating here it is a equality constant so this i am going to take it as a equation one the next equation q he, q is a heat m is a mass c is a specific heat capacity and dt is a change in temperature capital t is for temperature small t is for the time it is for energy terms just i am explaining m is for mass c is for specific heat capacity heat capacity dt is a change in temperature this i am going to use in a particular equation change in temperature okay so see i am going to give one equation heat energy is going to depend on the three factors one is the mass if mass increase heat energy will be increasing Second one is the nature of the material. So that only I am given here. It is a specific heat capacity. The first one is mass. Second one is a specific heat capacity. Third one is the temperature. How much temperature is going to be changed? Capital T is a change in temperature. So heat is equal to M C uh, D T. M is a mass. C is a specific heat capacity. D T is a change in temperature. So same equation. I am going to take it as a differentiate with respect to the time. D Q by dt here also small t is a time okay it is m c d capital t divided by d small t it is for temperature it is for time so i got the equation number two i have two equations for rate of change of heat energy it's equation number two now both the equation i am going to equal equation one and equation two so minus k t2 minus t1 is equal to m c d capital t is for temperature small t is for time period okay just i am uh, changing the equation modifying the i am modifying the equation just dt i am bringing here mc i am bringing denominator okay uh, t2 minus t1 i am bringing as a this denominator right side denominator so minus k mc d small t is for time so d capital t divided by t2 minus t1 this what we'll get okay now just i'm going to write this equation like this dt divided by t2 minus t1 is equal to minus k divided by mc d small t integrate on both side integrate on both side both side integration on both the sides just i'm doing integration on both the sides See integration of dx by x. It's a formula. It's going to be ln x, not a log x. Ln base will be e. Log base will be 10. Here it is a ln x. So ln base e into x. So here also I got integration of dt by uh, this. You will take it as a x. So dt by x, dx by x is going to be ln x. The same thing integration of this is going to be ln times of t2 minus t1 base will be e that side here variable is a t time here variable is a capital t it's a temperature 
so here integration of dt is going to be small t minus k small t divided by mc plus integration constant always you should add one constant for integration okay so one side i want to remove the ln value when you want to remove the ln value easily you can remove so but one thing if you are removing left side as a ln means right side you should write as a exponential value minus k small t divided by mc plus c okay the next step i am taken capital k is equal to minus k divided by mc so capital k value is going to be this much so this value i am i can take it this value i can take it as a capital k so t2 minus t1 is equal to e power minus capital k t plus c okay here t2 will be there t1 i am bringing that side t1 is in initial temperature plus e power minus kt so when this kind of equation is there so this no e for for this also this also you can use it it's a multiplication e power c so e power c e power c i am taken as a c dash so we'll get t2 is equal to t1 plus e power minus capital k into t c dash it's a final equation of newton's law of cooling so today we learned how to derive the equations of newton's law of cooling if you like my channel please subscribe thank you for watching my video thank you